Good afternoon. Hello. Hola, buenas noches. Ayer tuve muchos problemas para poder conectarme. Eh, no sé qué, qué fue lo que vieron ayer. Que tal vez eh. me pueda recapitular para yo buscarlo ya en la, en la plataforma. <clears throat> well, el día de ayer we saw um, it was let me just check here. Sí, la mayoría eh, ha estado teniendo problemas trying to access to the to the platform. Yesterday we saw there is and there are. So that's pretty much what we saw. Like uh, how to use there is, how to use there are for plural, for questions, for negatives and things like that. So you can also check, well, you can check um, the classes recorded on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel in which you can access to the class in case you were not able to be here. And you can check all the information and everything that we saw there. But in case you have any other question, you can also contact me and I can try to help you to, um, to do anything just to, for you to, to understand something. So I have a question, guys. Um, does any one of you already complete the platform or no? Um, yes, teacher. I complete the uh, level four. Okay, section number four. What about section number five? Have you started it yet or no? Did you start it already, uh, section number five? Or does any one of you already completed it? ¿Alguien ya completó la plataforma or no yet? No, aún no. No yet, okay. No yet. Okay, good. Um, well, I was asking you that, guys, because, uh, you know, I need to know if, uh, for example, uh, there's any mistake in your names, like in the spelling, like any accent or something like that. So if any one of you already uh, finished the platform, I was gonna ask you some questions regarding to that. But in, in the case that uh, you haven't finished yet, so, um, well, it's okay. You still have next week, because this week we're going to verify your work on section number four. So if you already completed section number four, that's perfect. So that's not a problem. So you still have a next week for you to complete section number five and we're gonna be done pretty much with the module. So um, today guys, we, we uh, I told you that we were going to work with the exercises because I remember that yesterday you told me that you didn't complete the exercises. Am I correct? Hello. Um, yes, teacher, the exercise, um, there, there is and there are. Yes, I mean, those exercises, you didn't finish them yesterday, correct? Or, or you finished? Yes or no? Are you listening to me? See me escuchan or or is like is it cut enough? Um, is I finished exercise. Or what? Um no teacher. So I really don't know what's going on. I mean, it's like, well, all right. So can you see, can you see the screen? Si pueden ver todos la pantalla, can you see it? 
Yes. Okay, good. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, did you do, I mean, did you complete this one? Si completaron este? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, this was, this was number one. So let me see, vamos a ver. Um, we're gonna start the first part and I will need, voy a necesitar que la número uno y la número dos until, until here. Hasta este punto, the period, I will need Rocio to help me with that. Rocio, you there? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Good, Rocio. So help me, please, from here until here. Uh, me señala de nuevo, teacher, que no vi el puntero. Es que estoy yes. en el teléfono. It's going to be from here until here. To the first period. Hasta donde está el primer punto. The first period. Ok. Um... Walk around the streets of your city. Okay. There are rubbish on the streets in many countries in the world. There are all bottles and and papers everywhere. Okay, so thank you so much, Rocio. From the first part, so what you have, Rocio, in this part in number one is not correct. Why? Because we have a question. And for questions, we don't say there are. We say, are there? So, and also, rubbish, tenemos la basura. So, la basura es algo singular porque no estamos hablando de basuras. So, we cannot, no podemos decir are there. So, we are going to say, is there rubbish on the streets? Hay basura en las calles? So, correct them, please. Para los demás, hay que corregir esa. But number two, it is correct. There are old bottles and paper everywhere. So thank you very much. Now I would like to listen to Luis Montano. Only help me reading. Solo quiero que me, me ayudes a leer from here to uh, this period, hasta este punto. Okay. <clears throat> it is a band problem. A big problem. A big problem. Mm -hmm. mm, but Alfredo Santa Cruz from Puerto Iguazu, Argentina. Okay. Has, uh, has, has what a two solution? Uh huh. It a house of bottles. Okay, house of bottles. All right. House of bottles. Guys, another thing. Otra situación. Even though, eh, ya sabemos, right, that uh, in Spanish, I mean, in Spanish we say Argentina o Puerto Rico. And that's okay, because we, we, we speak Spanish. Hablamos español. But in English, incluso en inglés, las cosas son a little bit exaggerated. Un poquito exageradas with the accent. So, for example, in this one, we would say, en esta diríamos, Alfredo Santa Cruz, Puerto Rico, Argentina. So, I understand. Eh, probablemente, you will probably listen to that, probablemente escuchen, ah, es un poco raro, un poco fuera de contexto, 
Because in Spanish, we just say Santa Cruz, Puerto Rico, Argentina. That's what we say. But in English, you know, for you to sound, para que ustedes suenen more natives, más nativos, we do those little changes, esos pequeños cambios. But thank you so much for your participation, Luis. Now, I would like to listen to you, uh, Christian. Hello, Christian. Well, Christian is probably not there today. So let's see, what about, what about you, Rocio? Uh, I mean, no, I'm sorry, you already participated. Georgina, I mean. Georgina? Hi. Good evening. Good evening, Georgina. So I need your help from here until here, hasta este punto. So let's go. There are thousand thousands of, okay thousand of mm, bottles bottles yeah bottles in his house mm -hmm. there is one bedroom but uh, there aren't a normal bed in it. Okay, here, num this one right here was correct. This one right here was correct. But this one here was not correct. Why? because we're just talking about one bed. So we cannot say there aren't a normal bed because we're talking about only one. We say there isn't or there is not a normal bed in it. So just correct that. Thank you very much, Georgina. Now I would like to listen to you, Rodrigo. We start from here, from the period until here. Okay. Uh, the bed is from bottles. Um, there are chairs, chairs from bottles, chairs from bottles. Two, uh, there aren't bottles in the roof and the door. Um, um, there is all plastic CD boxes in, instead. Okay. In, okay. Uh, the others, Rodrigo, the others you said, they were correct, but the only one that is not correct is this one. Why? Because we're saying cajas. Cajas viejas de CDs plásticos. So we're talking plural, so we cannot say there is old plastic. We say there are old plastic CD boxes instead. Okay. Christian, are you there, Christian, or what happened to you today? Christian, Christian, or no yet? He's not there, I guess. Well, um, hi, excuse me? <laughs> Christian, what happened with you? I was trying to uh, make you participate last time, but you were not saying anything. Okay. So yeah. Christian, okay. I, I need your help, Christian, from here, from, from where the pointer is until here. Uh, okay, okay. In fact, there aren't Many new things okay. in Alfredo house. Mm -hmm. Everything in it is good for the environment. Good. Are there are there any house like this in your country? Excellent. That was good, Christian. Thank you very much. Now um let's see. 
we're going to go to this part, which is, was this one, and I will give you a number. So, Georgina, you're going to have number one. Rodrigo, you're going to have number two. Christian, you're going to have number three. Rocio, you're going to have number four. Luis Montano, number five. Um, let's see who else. Let's see. We have Luis Chavez, this one right here. And the last one is going to be for Andrea. So even though she was not here yesterday, but I mean, we're just gonna see the way she does. So let's see. Okay, let's start, please. Um, are there any apples on the tab and on the table? On the table, okay. Correct, are there. Thank you very much. Okay. Are there any potatoes in the box? Oh, well, uh, this one was for Rodrigo, but now, Rodrigo, let's go with number three then. Okay. Um, is there any orange juice on the table? Okay, correct. Now, who got number four? Number four. There is. Is there? No, el siguiente me toca a mí. Are, are you sure that is, is there? Me toca a mí, teacher, pero me cuesta activar ahora el, el, el micrófono. Okay, uh, no problem. Four. Um, are there any birds in the box? Are there any peers in the box? Correct, thank you very much. Now let's go with the next one. Are there any tomatoes in the box? Excellent, are there any tomatoes in the box? Who has the next one? Uh -huh, Luis. I guess that's you. Luis Chavez, I mean. Okay, teacher, perdón. <clears throat> Sería any, any wood, wood there mm -hmm. in the fridge. Say it again. Any wood there in the fridge. No, I mean, do you decide is there or are there? Are there? Are there. Well, actually, we have to say is there because oh, it's okay. singular, it's singular. So we say, is there any butter on the fridge? Hay mantequilla en el refrigerador? That's what we want to say. So the last one, Andrea. Um. Uh, um, is there any swash? No sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. We say that sausage, sausages. Perdón? Sausages. Sausages. Okay. Sausages. Mm -hmm. Any sausage in the fridge? In the fridge. So that one. Sausages son a lo que le llamamos nosotros embutidos. Chichas. Well, uh -huh. Embutidos. Chichas, uh, you know, like uh, chorizos and all those things, embutidos. So because that is plural, it's plural, we're going to say, are there any sausages in the fridge? Okay. So, uh, well, we're going to stop the practice there and we're going to go today to today's class. So, uh let me just show you today's class. And today, guys, we're going to focus a little bit on adjectives, okay? So in the adjectives today, we're going to learn how to place adjectives. ¿Cuál es el orden que los adjetivos deben de seguir? Because they have an order. If you didn't know that, 
Today, you're going to learn how to do that. Why? Because everything has an order in English. So the adjective do. Uh, I don't know if you can see the presentation. Can you confirm that, please? Because, you know, our uh, internet is not working that well, so I need to confirm pretty much everything. Can you see it? Yes, I can see. Okay, good. Now, we can see there. Now, let me see. The adjective. First of all, we are going to try to understand what an adjective is. And by that, we're going to have a small definition that is going to help us to understand a little bit about adjectives. So you have an idea what an adjective is, right? For you, in simple words, what an adjective is. Anyone? Um, for example, a small. Small, yeah, that's an adjective. Yeah, it's something to describe. So we're gonna have this small definition and I'm gonna read it for you. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word used to describe a person, place, or thing. Adjective, modify nouns and pronouns. So basically, what we are going to see today are the use that we are going to give to the adjectives and how to identify them. We have some examples here. It was the gray cat. So here, el color gris, the color gray, is acting as an adjective and is describing or modifying the noun cat. We have, I like black coffee. Me gusta el café negro. So the color, el color negro, también is modifying the noun coffee. So that's what we're going to see today, pretty much. We have some examples here about, uh, you know, simple forms of making sentences using adjectives. For example, on number one, when we want to make a sentence using adjectives with the verb to be, we have to remember that for doing that, we have to follow a formula. So what is the formula? For example, subject plus, of course, the verb to be plus the adjective. So we say, for example, in the positive sentence, John is old. John is old. Now, when we want to make that negative, the only thing that we're going to do is that we are going to add the word not right next to the verb to be. And we are going to have the following formula. We are going to have subject plus the verb to be plus the word not plus the adjective. For example, John is not John. John is not John. So what does mean or what is the meaning of the adjective old? What's the meaning? I'm sorry? Uh, the meaning or is viejo. Viejo, exactly. So what is the meaning of the adjective jong? Joven. Joven, oh. exactly. So can we make questions? Podemos hacer preguntas using adjectives? Yes, we can. In the verb to be is very easy. Why? Because we have an example here. He is happy. What do we do to make a question? ¿Cómo le hacemos una pregunta? Very easy. We just move the verb to be. Solamente movemos el verbo to be at the beginning. Then the subject. Then the adjective. And of course, the question mark at the end. So how do I answer those questions? I have short answer 
And for that, I say, yes, he is. No, he isn't, okay? So we're gonna have some more examples here and I'm going to give you a number. Uh, let's see, Christian, you're going to be number one. Christian Rocio, you're going to have number two. Andrea, you're going to have number three. Georgina, number four. Luis Montano, number five. Luis Chavez, number six. Rodrigo, number seven. And let's see, we're going to have, uh, Rodrigo, you're going to have two, the last two. So go ahead, please. Okay, I am tired. Okay, good, thank you. You are nervous. You are nervous, okay. Number three? He is, he is tall. He is tall, excellent. What about number four? She is happy. Good. What about number five? It is round. It is round, correct. Next one. We are cool. Cold. This is cold, because if you say cool, cold. So this is cool, that is another thing. So yes, otra cosa. Okay, good. But thank you so much. Now, Rodrigo, we'll go with you. You are hot and they are hungry. No, this is not hungry, because if you say hungry, es que están hambrientos, and here it says angry. Angry. Angry, que están enojados, okay? That's different. Now, what's the okay. meaning of the verb tired? Uh, or the adjective, I mean. Cansado. Oh, Correct. Oh, Nervous. Nervioso. Tall. Alto. Happy. Alto. We already. Feliz. Feliz como todos los de este grupo, right? Happy. So round. Yes. Redondo. Redondo. Cold. Helado. Helado o frío. frío. Caliente. Caliente. And of Enojado. 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 Okay, so, uh, well, those are the most basic things. Esas son las oraciones, basic sentences that we can form using adjectives. Now, we're going to move on to the grammatical part. Nos vamos a mover a la parte un poco gramatical. So here we go. This is the order, guys. Este es el orden que tenemos que seguir para un adjective. For example, los adjetivos de opinión tienen el número uno. So, number one, opinion. And we have some examples. Tenemos algunos ejemplos. Amazing, fantastic, wonderful, awful. Now, the adjective of size, length, and height those are going to uh, be number two. Those, we're going to have some examples too. And in the examples, we have small, big, tall, short, long, and huge. Now, when we talk about physical qualities, características físicas. So when we have adjective like those, cuando tenemos adjetivos como eso, we are going to put it on number three. Van a tomar el lugar número tres. For example, thick, thin, smooth, sharp, hard, soft. Okay. Now, when we talk about age, cuando hablamos de la edad. So, those adjectives van a tomar el lugar number four. And we have examples. Young, ancient, old, 
teenage, mature, mature. Now, when we want to talk about adjectives of shape, the forma, we are going to place them, lo vamos a ubicar in number five. And we have some examples here. Square, round, circular, rectangular. Square, round, circular, and rectangular. Now, when we want to have adjectives of color, we are going to place them on number six. And of course, we can talk about all colors in English. We have some examples here, such as white, yellow, red, pink, black, and green. Now, when we want to talk about origin, origen de alguien, for example, español, Spanish, British, Britannico, English, Inglés, French, Francés, Salvadorian, Salvadoreño, Honduran, Guatemalan, Panamian, you know, all those origins, los de origen. We're going to place them on number seven. When we want to talk about adjectives of material, Adjetivos de materiales, for example, plástico, madera, algodón, oro, metal, and so on. We have some examples here, and we are going to place them on number eight. We have wooden, plastic, metal, cotton, gold. And the last one. When we want to talk, cuando queremos hablar de adjetivos de propósito, even though, aunque estos parecen verbos, they can have, pueden tener el uso de adjetivos. Why? Porque recuérdense que un adjetivo va a modificar un noun. So, these verbs, estos verbos pueden actuar como un adjetivo. So, we have purpose, el propósito, cooking. Cocinar, cleaning, limpiar, sewing, coser, but coser de, like, you know, sewing, like, coser de, like, um, I would say that. Coser no de coser algo de comida, sino de ropa. That's what I mean. De costura. Oh, costura, yes. That's, that's what we mean. Thank you so much. And we want, and the last one, washing. So, lavar. Now, I will give you a number. Les voy a dar un número a todos. And you make the pronunciation of the verb, or I'm sorry, of the adjectives that we have, que tenemos en cada uno. So we start with you, Christian, number one. Georgina, you're going to have number two. Andrea, you're going to have number three. Luis Chavez, you're going to have number four. Luis Montano, number five. Rocio, number six. Rodrigo, number seven. Nos volvemos a repetir en Christian, number eight. And then Rocío, once again, number nine. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay. I think uh, opinion. Mm -hmm. For example, amazing, okay. fantastic, wonderful, awesome. This one we say awful. Awful. Good. Thank Awful. You. Now we go with number two. A size lean. Hey. Mm -hmm. Small. Small. Mm -hmm. Big. Mm -hmm. Tall. 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 Short. Mm -hmm. Long. Okay. Huge. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Number three. Physical quality. Mm -hmm. Big. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Sharp. Hard. Soft. Thank you so much, Andrea. Now we're going to move on to number four. 
Jumped, mm -hmm. Ascient, Ancient, Old, Asian, mm -hmm. Old, Technica, Mature. Teenage, we say teenage, mature. Teenage, mature. Thank you very much. Now we'll go with number five. Okay. Uh, word? Square. <laughs> Round. Mm -hmm. Circular. Mm -hmm. Rectangular. 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 Mm -hmm. No, this one no is go, it's you. Rectangular. Rectangular. It's pretty close. Thank you very much, Luis Montano. Now we go with number six. Color. White, yellow, red, pink, black, green. Okay, thank you. Now we go with number seven. Spanish, British, English, English, French, English, French. Thank you so much. Number eight. Okay, material. Wooden. Material. Plastic. Material. Wooden. Plastic. Metal. Metal. Cotton. Metal. Cotton. And gold. Gold, okay, and number nine. Corpus, cooking, cleaning, sharing, washing. Okay, good, thank you very much. Now, let's see, vamos a ver once again. Remember, number one, opinion. Number two, size, length, height. Number three, physical quality. Number four, age. Number five, shape. Number six, colors. Number eight, origin. Number, I'm, I'm sorry, number seven, origin. Number eight, material. And number nine, purpose. Now, let's see. Uh, I mean, is there any question? Alguien tiene una pregunta so far? Um, in opinion. Opinion. Uh, what is awful? Awful is fail. That's awful. Fail. Okay, thank you. Or like we can also use lo podemos utilizar horrible también. For example, sucede algo y tú le quieres decir a alguien or es horrible. Oh, that's awful. So horrible. So we can use it in both contexts. Any other question, guys? Uh, the number two. Number two. Huge. 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 Enorme. That's huge. Enorme. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Uh, number three. Number three. <laughs> Mm -hmm. eh, eh, mm, eh, tic, tic, mm -hmm. and, uh, number one, two. Number one, uh, number one. Six. Which one from number one? The first uh, word. Oh, the first okay. word she mean. Okay, thick. When we say thick, we mean grueso. Well, that's thick. Thin, delgado. Mm -hmm. So, someone else? Otra pregunta so far, or we're clear? Well, I'm going to take that as a yes, it is clear. So, vamos a ver si es cierto que entendieron. Necesito que me pongan en el orden correcta 
estos cuatro adjetivos. You, uh, los, los buscan y me envían su respuesta por el chat de la llamada. So you have one minute. Tienen un minuto para pensar en cuál es, sería el orden dependiendo a lo que vimos, al orden que vimos previously, anteriormente. So go ahead, guys. One minute. Do not forget to write it on the chat. Um, teacher, uh, chat del Zoom or the WhatsApp? No, the Zoom chat. I saw that someone sent it through the WhatsApp chat, but no, I was talking about the Zoom chat, the one that we have on the call. Okay. 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 No, the one that we have on the call, el que tenemos en la llamada. Okay. okay. All right, so one minute is over. Ya pasó el minuto. I just received, solo recibí answers from well, Georgina solo me puso un adjetivo, so I don't know. Hmm. I think that creo que la única persona que entendió la instruction fue Rocío. De ahí los demás en Andrea. De ahí los demás solo me utilizaron un en Georgina too. De ahí Christian y los demás no sé. Christian los está poniendo por número. Ok, good. Rodrigo, he is still player. So the, the, the reason... Sí, me confundí, teacher. Yes, I, I think so, but that's okay. So, six. What do you mean? Okay. All right. Solo necesitaba que me los pusieran en orden, es decir, en el orden que, para yo, que yo pueda decir, eh, el orden que ya vimos. So, de acuerdo a esto, vamos a ver si este era el orden que debían de seguir. Usted iba a decir, un jugador negro americano, like, when we translate, cuando lo traducimos sería, un jugador Joven, alto, negro, americano. So, that's the order. Ese es el orden que vamos a seguir. Okay, yo American Black Toll. Almost, ¿sí? En algunos si nos equivocamos. So, we're going to try to find that out why. Si hablamos de esto, el número uno, toll, ¿de qué tipo de, what type of adjectives will that be? Según el orden que vimos, ¿qué tipo de adjetivo sería tall? Uh, the size, length, height. The size, length, height. So, what's the number? ¿En qué número lo ponemos ese tipo de adjetivos? Number two. Number two, correct. Two. Now, what about John? ¿De qué tipo sería? Age. Age, correct. And which number do we give to the adjectives of age? Four. Number four. Number four, correct. What about black? What type of adjectives will that be? It's color. Color. And what number do we give to those adjectives? Number six. Number, number what? 
Number six. Number six, correct. And now American. What type of adjective is that? Yeah, or, origin. Origin, correct. And what number do we give to adjectives of origin? Number seven. Number seven, correct. So, is there any question, guys? Alguna pregunta que tengan so far? Any question that you might have? Well, so I guess that's pretty clear, right? All right. So, we're move on to the next part. In to find out, para encontrar un adjetivo en una oración y saber y estar eh, seguros que eso que estoy pensando yo es el adjetivo, I can ask three questions. Me puedo hacer tres preguntas. For example, si yo me pregunto which one, cuál, what kind, qué tipo, how many, cuántos. For example, yo tengo la oración, it was the gray cat. According to this, el color gray está siendo utilizado como un adjective modificando el noun cat. ¿Cómo hago yo para confirmar? How do I do to confirm? That what I'm saying, para confirmar que lo que estoy diciendo es lo correcto. So, utilizo una de, de estas tres. En este caso voy a utilizar cuál. Yo digo, which was the cat? ¿Cuál fue el gato? Y la respuesta que se me da, gray, the gray. Entonces yo sé que the gray, automatically, automáticamente es el adjective. These questions, guys, estas preguntas únicamente son para confirmar, to confirm what we already know. We have another example. I like black coffee. Me gusta el café negro. So, según esto, el black es el adjective modificando al noun coffee. So, pero yo quiero confirmar a ver si eso es cierto. Y now, I can use any one of these ones. Puedo, puedo utilizar estas preguntas. Vamos a ver. What kind, qué tipo de café, what kind of coffee do I like? ¿Qué tipo de café me gusta? The black coffee. Entonces, la respuesta que me da es correcta. So, automatically, automáticamente, I know that the adjective black is Correct. That's the adjective. Ese es el adjetivo. So, questions? Um, teacher, uh, I can answer only black office or I like black office. I mean, you can say, uh, what kind of coffee do I like? Because te estás preguntando tú mismo. So you, you can say, I like black coffee, but it, to make it short, para hacerlo corto, you can only say black coffee, porque te están preguntando qué tipo de café. So automatically, automáticamente, tú te vas al tipo. So you can say black coffee. But it would also be correct if you say, I like black coffee. Okay, thank you. All right, so any other question or someone else has any other questions so far? It's clear. Mm -hmm. well, okay, so I guess no. So here we have some other examples and I will need, um, can you help me please, uh, Rocio, reading this part? Leyendo esta parte here. Rosy, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, go. When it comes to function, adjective, or uh, information, gator, gators. Mm -hmm. Specific mm -hmm. 
they provide phone their information about an object size, shape, age, color, region, or material. Okay. Here are some examples of actives in action. Okay, good. So we have that adjectives are information gatherers, specifically that they provide further information about an object's size, shape, age, color, origin, or material. And here we have some examples. Now, it says it's a big table. So the adjective big, it's been size. It is round. So the type of adjective, shape. It is all table. So the type of adjective, H. It is a brown table. Type of adjective, color. It is an English table. Type of adjective, origin. It is a wooden table. Type of adjective, material. It is a lovely table. Type of adjective, opinion. It's a broken table. Observation. Observation and opinion, guys, son en la misma categoría. Opinion and observation, so that's the same category. And it's a coffee table, that's the purpose. Okay? So those are things that we need to remember. As it says there, son cosas que tenemos que recordar. Now, if there's no any other question, guys, we're going to move on to the practice. Nos vamos a mover a la práctica. And I'll show you here let's see let me just share here what we do the practice guys is going to be really easy so you don't have to complicate that much so here we have um you see it yes teacher okay so please go ahead and take a screen to your phones and then let me know I'm going to, and I move to the next one. So I'm going to move to the next one. All right, so, and this is the last one. Good. So I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to create a breakout rooms. So I need everyone to go and work together. So let me see. I'm just going to move you here. I'm going to move this person here. All right. So please go ahead, guys. Teacher, puedo repetir la última, por favor. Good. Let me see. Yeah. Good.
So, Rodrigo, did you finish the exercises? Only first exercise, teacher. Only the first one, okay. So, all your group, the to group only exercise number one? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so we're just gonna wait for the others to come back to the main section before we finish with that. Okay, guys, the group where it was, Christian, were you able to, to finish the exercises? Did you finish the exercises, the other group, el otro grupo? No, nos faltó una y la mitad. La mitad. Okay. Well, so tomorrow we're going to check that, okay? So that's the first thing that we're going to do when we start uh, when we start the class. So uh, actually, guys, that's going to be all for today. So thank you so much for being here or for in the class. I uh, hope to see you tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? So I wish you all have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.